I'm going to show you some more amazing expression tools in the Galaxy Note 2. The first feature is called Best Face. This is a great feature that can help you create the perfect group photo by capturing the best pose of each person. Especially useful for those of us that aren't photogenic. So if I take a photo of my friends, and we can see right away that Everett looked really stupid here. But luckily, because I used the Best Face feature, I can select Everett's face and choose a better shot of him, all happy and smiley-faced, that was captured just a moment earlier. Now I have a great photo of all my friends looking good together. Now if I want to add a handwritten note to this photo to remind me of this memory, I could use the photo note feature. This then flips my photo around and allows me to write a note on the back of the picture like we're used to on a paper photo. So I'll just write with my friends and the date. Now I won't forget the details of this moment. Now here's one of my favorite apps on the Note 2 called Paper Artist because it's an easy way to turn any picture into hand-drawn art. So with this picture, Paper Artist immediately makes it look like a pencil sketch. Now I could choose from a range of different filters, but I like to use the water sketch mode. Now using this pen style, I can add watercolor paint to the areas I want to. So let's add color to Ed's face. You can immediately see my picture starts looking like paper art. And now let's frame it. And there you go. A creation that looks like it could have taken me hours only took me a real short time. Now Gabe really liked how he came out in this pic, so he's been asking for a copy. Now I could simply use a feature called S-Beam to share it with him instantly. I just select the picture from the gallery, connect our devices together like this, and he's got it instantly. The S-Beam feature can also easily transfer your video files as well. We're introducing a few new picture taking and video recording features. Now you probably need a camera that works great in all light conditions, so we've added a new feature that lets you take brilliant photos even when there isn't a lot of light. So by selecting the camera mode, you could choose from an array of useful picture taking settings, but I'm going to select the low light setting. Now let's see the difference this makes. So on my way home from work last night, I took some shots in the dark without any flash. Now here's a pic without the setting enabled. And here's one with the low light setting enabled. Again, here's another without. And here's one with the low light setting enabled. Big difference. Even without flash, the picture came out bright and clear. We've also added some new video camcorder features to record in both slow and fast motion. In recording mode, I'm going to choose slow motion mode. And you can see here, I've got the choice between half, a quarter, and eighth speeds. And you could do the same thing with fast motion. You have the settings for double, four times, or eight times the normal speed. So let's take a look at some of the results you can get with these features. Now here are some videos I took of my friend recording this toy car setup. The first one is recorded on normal speed. Now the next video is recorded with the slow motion setting enabled. This is in one eighth times slow speed. You can see the difference it makes. Now let me show you the fast setting enabled. This is eight times normal speed. Thanks for taking a look at the Galaxy Note 2's amazing expression tools to better capture, create, and share your inspirations. We really hope you enjoy using them as much as we do. Please take a look at our other hands-on videos as well.